In this video, I'll be giving a complete guide to forcing wave ends in Barbarian Assault using the most common and practical methods. I also have a shorter version of this guide with much less information which is linked in the description. I'll start by explaining the mechanics of wave ends in general, then go over the different ways to alter wave end checks and how to use them to your advantage. At the end of the video are examples of each method mentioned in this video. Note that these methods can only be used by the scroller and will have no effect if performed by anyone else on the team. So let's get started. Barbarian Assault has normal wave end checks every 6 seconds or 10 game ticks. This means that in normal circumstances, without any interference by the scroller, a wave will end on the closest 6 second interval wave end check after registering the required number of deaths of each type of pendants for that wave. As an example, on wave 1, if 4 rangers, 4 fighters, 2 runners, and 2 healers die before 30 seconds, the wave will end at 30 seconds. If they die after 30 seconds but before 36 seconds, the wave will end at 36 seconds. In short, waves can end naturally in multiples of 6 seconds. Note that for healers, death registers as their health reaches 0. However, for all other pennants, death registers following a short death animation. This must be taken into account for the use of forcing. Even if the last monster dies at 33 seconds, the wave wouldn't end for another 3 whole seconds. Or worse, if the last death is at 30.6 seconds, the wave wouldn't end for another 5.4 seconds. Forcing is used to alter the timing of wave end checks to our benefit and end waves exactly when the last penance dies. Here are a couple of important things to keep in mind before I move on. Forcing will delay any penance from spawning until the force is broken. This can be used to your advantage in some situations, but is mostly not a good thing. Note that penance spawn times and wave end checks coincide. Forcing will also permanently change spawn times and wave end check times for the amount of time that you force through the wave end check. This includes intentional forcing and even unintentional forces through things like shooting the cannon. This means that if you were to force on wave 2 from 23.4 seconds to 27 seconds, the 4th ranger, 4th fighter, and 3rd runner would not spawn until 27 seconds. This also means that the 5th fighter would not spawn until 33 seconds. It would also push the wave end checks to 33 seconds, 39 seconds, 45 seconds, etc. Note that call changes do not behave in the same way. If you extend the first call change by 15 seconds, the second call change will still occur at 60 seconds, or 15 seconds later, but I won't get into call changes too much in this video. Now that we've explained the important parts of wave end check mechanics and timers, how is forcing done? There are many ways to force in Barbarian Assault. Some are more effective than others. I'll break these methods up into two groups, interface stalls and animation delays. An interface stall can be created by opening any main window or chat interface by the use of items or prayers. The simplest interface stall is created by trying to activate a prayer. When the chat message appears after clicking a prayer, you've started an interface stall. For simplicity, I may refer to interface stalls as just prayers or prayer stalls going forward. Things that break prayers include call changes, penance deaths, cannon loading, cannon shooting, being attacked, healing with the vial, and healing by drinking from the pool. You can also intentionally break prayers by moving or equipping an item. The perfect time to use only prayers would be when there is only one penance left, there are no call changes coming up, and the cannon is not being used. Wave 2 is usually your best bet for this. The last fighter and healer should die before 36 seconds, but the last runner will likely die somewhere between 37 and 40 seconds. Because of this, you can click a prayer right before the 36 second wave end check and just leave it up to be closed on its own by the last runner death. This will instantly end the wave when the runner dies. However, if one of the other pendants dies late, it will also break the prayer stall, which can result in an anti, or a wave end check that is actually worse than it would have been without trying to force. It's easy to see that prayers on their own are simple and easy to use, but not effective in most scenarios. Other means can be used in conjunction with prayers in order to ensure that the force is not broken prematurely by death's call changes or anything else. These other means come in the form of animation delays. Animation delays can be used for many different things in Barbarian Assault, including extending call changes and duplicating eggs, but I won't get into that in this video. For the purposes of forcing, animation delays act as a bridge between interface stalls. The act of combining these two things is called chaining. Here's how it works. Take an item with a short activatable animation like an elemental shield.
for simplicity, I'll say that the elemental shield has a two tick equip animation and most other items have a one tick equip animation. Click to equip the shield and sometime in the two tick animation duration, click a prayer. This will add one prayer interface to the end of the equip animation. The prayer will act as a normal prayer stall until it is interrupted. This means that you can also equip another elemental shield and repeat the process indefinitely to force for as long as you need to. As long as you click to equip the next shield before the prayer is closed by other means, you'll have an effective force. The animation of equipping the shield can be replaced with any animation delay, such as a shrink potion, a com orb, skill cape, emote, or even shooting the cannon. However, with longer animations, you're less likely to be able to end the force when you want to. If you equip the shield without clicking a prayer before the animation ends, the force will end. I recommend the use of function keys to switch between your inventory and prayers to make this easier. This method can be used to force into duping the Omega Egg into the end of Wave 10, but is less effective than other methods as it can delay the timing of when you can shoot the Omega. This method of forcing is effective but requires precise timing. In addition to this, you can either get a force that ends exactly when the last penance dies, or you can be one tick late, depending on when the equip animation and prayer occurs. It can also extend the call change unintentionally if the equip animation lands directly on it. This makes shield forcing less ideal than some other methods of forcing. The most common item that's used in forcing is the scrawled note from Monkey Madness 2. There are two ways to use the scrawled note, which are two tick note and one tick note. I'll start with a simpler version of note forcing, which is two tick note. For two tick note forcing, make sure the escape to close interface option is turned on in the settings. Clicking the note will first open up a main window interface from reading the note. This normally takes one tick to close. After that, a chat interface stall will be opened, which will take another tick to close. By holding escape and clicking the note every two ticks, you can very easily chain together two tick note stalls. You can also just spam the note instead of trying to time clicking it, which allows you to focus more easily on the monsters dying as opposed to counting ticks of the force. Keep in mind that since your cursor will have to be on the note and your hands will be on the escape key and your mouse, you won't be able to move the camera, so try to adjust it prior to starting to tick noting. The chat message interface that occurs after the main window interface acts in the same way as a prayer interface. This means that you can also chain other animation delays onto it but not at the exact tick that you may need to in the case of duping the Omega, for example. Also, a note that is clicked after an animation delay without a prayer chain to the end of it will not be linked together and will be a broken force. If you want to note after an animation delay, you'll have to click a prayer before the animation ends to lead into noting. Two tick note forcing is by far the simplest way to force. It requires no mouse movement or precise click timing to work and will not unintentionally extend call changes. However, you can still be a tick late from a perfect force depending on when the two tick cycle occurs. The more advanced and best method of forcing is one tick note. One tick note forcing bypasses the main window interface tick by equipping an item in the same tick that you originally clicked the note. This can be any item such as arrows, a ring, or capes. Keep in mind that if you use arrows, you may be equipping the incorrect arrows if you need to attack anything after the force. As the name suggests, this means that you can end the force on any tick that you want. However, it requires tick-perfect clicking and much more precision than the other methods of forcing. It can be risky because if you miss the timing or misclick the note, you could end the force early. This method can also be combined with other methods of forcing, including animation delays, and you could start the animation any tick that you need to. This allows you to start the force and change it into duping the Omega right into the end of wave 10. Similarly to two tick noting, you'll need to click a prayer during the animation in order to chain more notes onto it to force the wave end properly. If you're worried about performing a one tick note force for a prolonged period of time, you can always start off with a two tick note force and transition it into a one tick force when the penance get close to dying. I'll now show some more examples of each type of force with just game sounds on so you have a better idea of what's going on.
I hope this video was helpful, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.